Let's break down DARVO. D, deny the behavior. So what does that sound like? You bring something to someone, you say, hey, when you did this or that, I felt like this or that. And they say, I didn't do it. <laughs> or that never happened. How about this? You're imagining things. You have selective memory. Have you heard any of these any of these things? Denying reality when you know what it was or what it wasn't and you, and you, and you deny it. It's not just emotional immaturity. It's not low emotional intelligence. It's psychological abuse. Attacking the person who confronts. That's A. Attack the person who confronts. This might sound something like this. You're always bringing something up. You're a nag. Slow down right here. So now we've deflected from the actual issue, the thing that was brought up, and now I'm talking about you rather than the issue. And what happens when you're triggered and you're not aware of what this person's doing or you're so reactive is you damn go with them. And now we're talking about me when we were talking about what you did. It might sound like this. You're so insecure. So something that you did has then triggered me. Now I feel like I need reassurance. I need, I need to know how you feel about me because of something that you actually did. Let's talk about it for real. That You saw your person send in some texts back and forth with somebody you never heard about. That's a real thing that could have happened, right? But when you confront, the person then talks about you being insecure rather than what they did to trigger the insecurity, to trigger the need for assurance, to trigger the question. Attacking the person who's confronting. How about this? No one else has an issue with this. Why do you? All the people at work love me. All my friends, I never heard this from them. It must be you. Has anybody heard that? Attack the person who's confronting the problem. Simple one that people throw this stuff out all the time. You're too sensitive. And how about this? If I'm so bad, why are you with me? Last one, reverse the victim and offender. Might sound something like this. You're trying to make me feel bad. You're so aggressive or controlling. You're a narcissist. This relationship is failing because you don't trust me, even if they were really doing things that were not trustworthy. A lot of stuff, a lot of times what makes this stuff tricky is because is that there can be some validity to it. There can be some truth to it. You'd be like, damn, I do got some trust issues. <laughs> They'd be like, your daddy just like that. You'd be like, damn, I guess hmm, you kind of have a point. <laughs> that can make that difficult for someone to, to be able to tease out what is mine that I'm bringing into this and is how is that affecting my perception of what's happening and their behavior? It's like, it can make it difficult to tease out. Maybe you really do have a history of something. Maybe you really have gotten it wrong before. Maybe you really did jump the gun in the past. And now that's being intertwined with what's happening in the present. And it can be hard to, for someone to tease it out, right? When someone can use a truth and manipulation in the same breath.